So we know, well I'm pretty sure we know there's some kind of twin thing going on and apparently one of them practically raped the sister with a hairbrush or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, don't really know what else, I can't remember what we left it as. Oh yeah, Florence was the girl, the woman who looked after one of them. It seems like they were separated at birth for whatever reason. Um, let's see what we can find. Nothing there. Try Derek. found the body, didn't they? The body was under some stuff in the basement, was it? Let's see if she mentions basement again. No, it wasn't the basement, it was the attic? I think it was the attic. It's the complete opposite. Listen to all those. Hmm, what's this? Sorry, sorry. Oh, so sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. Are oh, any of these in colour? Are any of these in colour, Mush? Let's have a little look. <sighs> Oh, you are obsessed with fairy tales. Oh, really? Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Oh, you loved that, didn't but you? Life, we had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book, was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. You're a dirty skit. The pencil's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. She likes the p-words. Oh, those p-words, they were to do it for me. And the glaziers. I worked there some weekends. She's got a tattoo. It'd be good to see the other one with a shirt. That was Eric's generosity. Uh, short sleeve shirt. See if she's got a tattoo. He's always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet. More thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Yeah. Sexist? Plus he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. <laughs> oh really? Oh really? Yeah really. Simon never cheated on What me. is that a picture of? He was devoted to me. It's like a snake, I is it? Devoted to him. A snake round something? Can't tell. It's Not terrible to <laughs> We were good to each other. Pretty sure it's a, it's a stick on one. Life isn't a fairy tale. Oh no, it ain't bitch, you're right. What a shame. See, I did used to like her until I realised she's a complete psychopath. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she was. Well, maybe this one's a psychopath, that's the normal one. I, I can't tell. Do you want to take the story? I think they're both a little bit crazy, aren't they? It's a real life fairy tale. Oh, go on then, do tell. Oh, well, where, where's the story? Uh, re real life. Real life fairy tale. No. No, no, no. I told her it was one of my boyfriends. Someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? I don't know. I just don't know. It doesn't 
That doesn't, their quote marks don't work, I don't believe that. Um, oh. I don't know. Let's look at the time. Ah, that's good. Okay, I think so. But still, there's just two things. Okay. Mirror game. Oh, is that a clue? Because it's like the mirrored twins or whatever. That's, what is that on top of the head? It's definitely a face. Cracks of class. <laughs> yeah. Mirror tiles. I don't know how you play this. Can I choose turn? Uh, no. Hmm. I'm not doing that again. Right. Uh, let's close it down. Shit, man. I'm a bit stuck here. That should say Hampshire Constabulary. It's the same logo, I think, as well. I wonder if that's legal. Uh, no. 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 No, I'm just clutching at straws. Um, Florence was the. Twins. Did we type in twins yet? Oh, hello. There we go then. Twins. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Um, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure you are. Oh, hello. Who's that? <laughs> are you out of your mind? You are. Twins? Yes. Yes, twins. Stop asking and tell us. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a post on Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. Special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed Double with everything those. she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Yeah, well, there's more to come, unfortunately, for Princess Di. Um... Yeah, we were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. Uh-huh. Okay. No. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. So this is Eve, I'm sure. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated. Again. How'd they pick up this girl? I stayed in the attic. It was hard. That's what she said. So I said it didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. Guys, I've met in clubs, in parks, in alleyways. Classy. I was seventeen. What? <laughs> That's bad. The guy was being punished, but it was Hannah who had betrayed us. 
had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. <laughs> hmm. Pretty sure you've got the hip by now. It was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. It's like coke you've been snorting. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. Where are you going to live? That was the plan. I'm pretty sure he'd notice you. What were you going to hide? Um, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. Uh -huh. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She knew. She knew. She knew that he would do you. She sent him out the house, kicked him out, called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Oh dear. Oh my god, it's the police! My sister is gone. Where's she gone? And she's never coming back. Oh. But where has she gone? Please sing, please sing tell me is now. I don't know what's happening, I don't understand any of this. Um, murder. We've done that already. Kill. Killed. Did they stab him? I don't know. Knife. Well, she has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favourite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. Kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. Okay, I don't understand what any of that means. Is any of it supposed to make sense? Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. That wouldn't work. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. Books. Reading the books. Silver leaf? No. He normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. What's that she had in there anyway? I don't actually know. <laughs> Go on then, Eve, tell us what happened. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realised at the same moment. 
I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realised it wasn't a reflection. The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other and copying each other's movements. Tomo arigato, Mr. Rabato. Please like, please subscribe. Call me a prick in the comments if you want. Bye bye.